There are 41 million people living in the United States who weren't born here. Donald Trump seems to think you should be scared of them. He said that many of them are rapists and murderers, bad hombres out to get you. He says he'll save America from immigrants by building a wall. He's moving ahead with plans to deport millions of people using broken and abusive laws. Don't let fear blind you to the facts. We are all America. Those born here and those who traveled far to be here. Immigrants are us. President Trump is not the first to fan fears of immigrants for political gain. In 1996, a natural-born U.S. citizen bombed the Oklahoma City Federal Building, and Congress blamed immigrants. They passed two laws aimed at kicking criminal aliens out of the country as fast as possible, even those who have legal status. Those laws are a big part of the reason President Trump has the power to do so much harm to our communities. Under the 1996 laws, the U.S. government gave itself a huge amount of power to detain immigrants and fast-track deportations, to break up families with deep roots in this country. People seeking asylum in the U.S. could be turned away on the say-so of a border agent. Immigrants who got caught with even small amounts of drugs could be detained for months or years with no court hearing. Even people with papers could be deported automatically for minor crimes, like shoplifting. President Barack Obama deported millions under these laws, but then acknowledged the system was broken. When legislative reform efforts failed in Congress, he used his executive authority to protect immigrants who came here as children, as well as parents of U.S. citizens. Now President Trump has announced plans to ramp up the machinery created by the 1996 laws, detaining, deporting, and banning more people to make America safe. But it won't work like that. Here are the facts. Increased immigration does not bring higher crime rates. Immigrants commit crime at lower rates than people born in the U.S. The current immigration and deportation system costs billions of dollars a year, destroys American families, and hurts entire communities. Lundy Khoi was a baby when she came to the U.S. as a Cambodian refugee. As a college freshman, she was arrested with seven ecstasy tablets and charged with drug trafficking. Under President Trump's plan, Lundy is a criminal alien, a priority for deportation. Even though she came here legally, is married to a U.S. citizen and has a toddler son who's also an American. Romulo Avelica Gonzalez was arrested for deportation in March 2017. He doesn't have papers, but he's been in the country for 20 years and has four American children. He was probably targeted because of a DUI nearly 10 years ago. The government is breaking up his family. Deporting people like Lundy and Romulo does not make us any safer. Most immigrants with criminal convictions are not strangers who entered the country to hurt Americans. Instead, they're us. They're fathers and mothers, sons and daughters. They're people who grew up here. They're veterans who risk their lives fighting for this country. They're people who coach soccer, parents who join the PTA. They work hard for employers who trust them, knowing their past and believing in their future. We don't need a wall, and we don't need to live in fear of immigrants. Immigrants are us.